It's a beautiful afternoon here in Bio Canyon, New Mexico. We're about a mile to the uh, southeast of the town of Los Alamos, which was founded to uh, uh, advance the American nuclear weapons program in World War II, the so-called Manhattan Project. Bio Canyon also was known by the name of Technical Area 10 during the Manhattan Project years. In 1944, this is where scientists first learned how to build the implosion type of nuclear weapon. And there's not much remaining in the way of structures here now. It's all been cleaned up and released to uh, more or less general public use. You can't collect firewood. Uh, but uh, uh, what there is here of interest is pieces of uh, radioactive metal that resulted from the original radiolanthanum implosion tests that were done here. Some of the most famous pictures of the radiolanthanum experiments were taken uh, from this very vantage point right here. And you can see here in the distance is uh, uh, Quagge Mesa. And even further to our south, uh, the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, still with a little bit of snow in, uh, in, uh, 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 in the top here now. And then as we pan around towards our, uh, our east, we can see that uh, modern civilization has come and uh, uh, taken its toll here. We have houses, fairly uh, uh, well-to-do uh, people, I imagine, living about 700 feet above us up on the uh, mesa over there. Let's take a look at some of what we can find here. I've got a Geiger counter. This is a uh, an Eberline Geiger counter. And I have a pancake uh, Geiger-Muller tube connected to it. Uh, this is really the type of tube that's best for this kind of work. You'll see I've got a bag on the tube. And that's very important to uh, protect the tube somewhat against punctures from cactus and, and uh, grasses and uh, to keep dust out of the uh, out of the counter. I mentioned earlier the radiolanthanum implosion tests. Basically they would put a large uh, source of radiolanthanum or lanthanum 140 inside a uh, dense metal uh, sphere which they would then implode and they would look at the density of the heavy metal as it imploded using uh, scintillation detectors or ion chambers. The radiolanthanum is long gone, but the radioactive uh, uranium metal that they would implode here uh, still remains, and so does a little bit of strontium-90. We found both uranium and strontium-90 uh, here. The uranium emits some gamma rays, the strontium-90 does not, so that's a, a means of distinguishing them. Let me bring a piece over here and just show you what we've got. Notice the yellow deposit right here on this piece of aluminum. This yellow is in fact uranium. And if I take the uh, Geiger counter you see we have about uh, 5,000 counts per minute due to that uranium. Let's take a look at another piece. Let's take a look at this piece. This is another little piece of metal. little piece of uh, what looks to be aluminum. This piece of metal is uh, registering almost uh, 7,000 counts per minute. This metal litters the, uh, the floor of Bio Canyon in approximately this location and, and, and almost a quarter of a mile in all directions. Uh, there is no shortage of metal, no shortage of radioactivity. It does take a little persistence, and I recommend coming all day if you want to find this stuff. But uh, this is a beautiful place, great picnic uh, spot. Uh, the weather's gorgeous. And of course, the radioactivity completes the picture and, uh, and you have a wonderful uh, uh, afternoon uh, opportunity to collect stuff.
The hike in and out is about a mile long. Uh, it's about 700 feet of elevation change, so uh, mildly strenuous. I, I wouldn't uh, recommend it to every single person, but most people will will enjoy the uh, the slight hike to get in here.